All YouTube. Right. Another commentary. Because you guys like it so much, you know you do. Another Halo commentary. Because, honestly, we're pretty good at this game, and we want to put out some good videos. <laughs> so, we got a... This is kind of like a part two to the last few videos we had, you know? Not really a part two, just a, like, similarity to them. I thought they were pretty funny. We think they're pretty funny. Alright. So we're going to start off with the uh, story number one. Yeah, we're doing a whole bunch of stories again. Type video thing. Okay. So. Story uh, time. Story time. Story time. <laughs> so, uh, you guys probably don't know this, uh, but me and Jason here are quite the fighters. We do some fight stuff, you know? We like to fight people for shits and gigs. Mm -hmm. So, we had a judo tournament one time to uh, Vegas, you know? Just getting our names out there. And my friend decided to spend the night and go with us to watch me and my brother fight. And we were trying to get some sleep, but we couldn't fall asleep. I don't know why, but yeah, we couldn't. So I decided, hey, hey, I can't fall asleep. I'm going to have some fun with this. So we used to have bunk beds back in the days. And... Jason here used to sleep on the top bunk, and I was sleeping on the bottom one, and I had another booger, you know, me and them booger stories. Oh, God, no, not the boogers. <laughs> so, alright, I had a booger in my nose that needed to come out. Again. So, it was pretty dark, so I was like, you know, we had, we we're trying to go to sleep, and I picked my nose, and my friend was like, dude, what are you doing? And I was like, dude, just watch, and he was like, this is gross, and I was like, it's gonna be funny. And then I got the booger out my nose, had it in my finger, and it was like wet, man, a wet, slimy booger. Like, <laughs> like once I got it out of my nose, it was still hanging on my nose from my fingertip. So I was like, hey, Jason. He was like, yeah. I was like, can you see my hand? And like I had my hand against the wall, you know, between the wall and the, the bunk bed because it didn't touch the wall all the way. He was like... Damien! I was like, yeah, bro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, he grabbed my hand. I don't know why, but he did. Well, you were sticking out your hand like, hey, man, grab my hand. You know, we're brothers. We do that type of stuff. I don't even know. <laughs> God dang. But he grabbed my hand. And when he grabbed my hand, he grabbed onto that booger, man. <laughs> Jason can't stay away from the boogers, oh, you guys. <laughs> And it was just funny. He freaked out, didn't know what to do. He just called me disgusting. <laughs> Dude, I didn't. This was, in, in the beginning when I first grabbed it. I was like, Haha, "Yeah, what? What is this? <laughs> this is kind of, this is kind of squishy." And I'm like, "All right, this is getting really <laughs> nasty. I don't even know what this is." So I like start smearing it on the wall, and then I kind of <laughs> look at my hand, and I just, you know, yeah, that's that's pretty nasty. You just, it was just gross. I Gross, can't. yet hilarious. No, it wasn't <laughs> hilarious. It was disgusting. <laughs> As uh, you guys know by now, I'm still a fucking douchebag because we got another douchebag story. Yeah, Damien, I'm, I, don't, I don't think we have one story where I'm the douchebag because Damien's just a straight... He just pretty we much had that just one steals last the time. show with we had the one with, We had the one with the iced tea. Alright, so one day Jason... I don't know. I don't know if he told me something. I don't know, but he pissed me off that day. He didn't know he pissed me off, but he pissed me off. Not enough to like go and smack him or anything, <laughs> but enough to just ignore him for a good hour or something. Then I hear him picking on my little sister. And I was like, this guy's just being a douche to everybody. So I go and What? This Are you serious? You're really mad at me? That's what I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why I was mad at you, but yes, I was mad at you that day. So oh, wow. I heard him being mean to my sister. So I went to go talk to her. I go to her room and I'm like, hey, Jason being a douche to you? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, alright. And usually I'm pretty freaking super mean to my sister. But this time, enemies had a collab. And collab. So, <laughs> so I'm like, alright, I'm going to help you out this time. She was like, what are we going to do? I was like, I need you to get him on the floor. She was like, fuck, I'll try. Because uh, we're stronger than our sister. 
Oh. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. She went in the living room and's trying to wrestle with my this, brother. This is what happened when she came in. I was just like, oh god, I had to deal with her again. And she's like, grabs my arms, and I'm like. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna give her the satisfaction to just let her take me to the floor <laughs> and then just get on top of her and like hawk a loogie and like mess with her or something. But yeah, uh, she got me on the floor and things went bad from there. <laughs> so once I saw that she had him on the floor, I was one. I was pretty surprised that she he, she even got him on the floor. And then second, I was like, it's killing time. So once I saw him on the floor, boom. I had a fart in me, and I was like, this baby is going in his face. Uh. So, <laughs> I run, pull down my pants and underwears, get my butthole all up in his face and his nose, and <laughs> he's just yelling like, oh no, no! This, this is what was really nasty about it, it was like, his crack fit like perfectly, <laughs> like my nose fit like perfectly in his crack. Yeah, I know. How how would you know? Because I felt it. And, uh, it was really nasty. I, uh, felt like it did. <laughs> so much. yeah, it was there. Once I felt the tip of his nose in my butthole, don't think I'm gay because I'm not. This is just what I felt. And uh, I was is. like, this is the time to fart. I had to share a room with this boy. <laughs> and for some reason, the fart wasn't coming out. So I'm pushing and pushing. And I realized, this fart is not going to come out. And if it's going to come out, it's going to come out in one way and one way only. I got to poop on his face. And then oh I was like, God. should I do this? Because, like, he was yelling. I thought I was just going to, like, poop in his mouth also. I was like, this would just be the perfect prank ever. But then I thought about it. Dude, that is straight up not a prank. That's just... <laughs> that's just. Uh. Then I thought about it. I was like, nah... One, he's going to be super mad. Two, that's pretty mean. And three, I'll probably ground it for life from my parents. <laughs> and I don't know what I was going to do. You know, I, I poop in his face and then what am I going to wipe with? Run to the bathroom or something? Yeah, we had white carpet, so that would have been pretty freaking gross. So, like, I, I, I had time to think about this. Don't know how, but I did. And I, I thought, alright, nice guy time. I'll, I'll just get off of him. And I just started laughing and walked it off. And they, uh, it was still gross, you know. They both ran out of the room and, like, it was in the living room. So, like, after they left, I just <laughs> sat down on the couch and I was just thinking, what the hell just happened? <laughs> I was like, what? Did, what? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even know. I don't remember, honestly, what was going through my head. Just, just what happened. I just sat on the couch, had my hand like on my forehead, just like rubbing my head like, what, what, what? <laughs> Alright, we got one more story. Hopefully this can fit in the video. Alright, you guys heard the peeing stories. You guys heard the pooping stories. You guys heard so many peas and poops. And boogers. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. We got one combined together. Pee oh, and poop. You just standing there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, one day I'm taking a dump, you know? Just chilling on the toilet. And I lift my butt up, because I'm about to wipe. And someone knocks on the door, and I'm like, somebody's in here. And it's Jason over here saying, dude, hurry up, I gotta pee super bad. And I was like, dude, this guy got to pee really bad? I'm gonna make him wait. You see, he, he talks about me like I'm not his brother. He's like, this guy? Oh, man, I remember seeing this guy down the hall. He was looking at my sister with a mean face. Like, what? What? I'm just <laughs> So I'm making him wait, making him wait. I don't want to wait there, just, you know, so I wipe, I, I put my pants up and everything, and I'm waiting. He's like, dude, come on, I gotta go super bad. I'm just cracking up, you know, like, got a big old smile, I was trying not to laugh hard, and he's like, come on, man, come on. I was like, alright, alright, that's enough, you know, that's, I'm being mean, being mean already. So, I come out. And this guy, this guy's just furious with me. He was so mad, dude. He was like, look what you made me do. You made me pee in my pants. <laughs> so, like, in the meanwhile, while he's in the restroom, I'm, like, thinking, oh, my God, am I really about to pee my pants right now? <laughs> and a, a, like, 12-year-old, 11-year-old boy about to pee his own pants? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, what's, what's the closest thing to a toilet? All right, a trash can. So I run up to the trash can, start peeing in the trash can. Starts filling up on me. It's the trash can just turns into a little swimming pool. 
then that's when I just had to let it happen and just kind of <laughs> tried to contain it all by keeping it in my pants and just let the pee soak me, man. Uh, those were some stories that we had. We'll come up with a few other later, man. Hopefully these were all right. See you guys.